What up everyone? Back in January 2021 when I started the Silver Hammer Surveillance Channel, I posted a video about the top five reasons people get security cameras for their home. Go back and check out that video. Now some of those people were surprised by, some of them made sense, you know, people's general security, whatever it may be. But even me, as a security camera installer, I've always been surprised how, how far animals rank up in those reasons people get cameras. Whether it's the pets inside their house or outside their house, or wildlife in their backyard because they live on an acreage or they have a big piece of property. Or as I got into it, more and more people like bird watchers. Bird watchers wanted to watch birds in their yard. Well, I found some cameras that were, you know, good enough resolution and could zoom in definitely for the wildlife and things like that. And you could get different alerts for different animals on different cameras, but never got to the point where it was actually bird watchers. Like we could actually identify species of a bird. Well, a company called Really reached out to me and they have just such a camera. It's a camera that not only is a security camera, it's got package detection, facial recognition, motion detection, but also wildlife and bird detection to the point where it'll actually show you the species. So when they reached out to me, it's a camera that was interesting enough to me because of past requests from our customers that I'm gonna give it a try. Now this is not sponsored, this was just a given to me and I'm gonna give you my honest feedback, but a pretty cool concept and let's see if it lives up to it. Let's get started. What up everybody, it's George Langebeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance. Here on the channel, we talk smart home tech, we talk home security, we have videos every Tuesday. We're very happy to have you here and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will say as of today, we just hit 10,000 subscribers. About a week or so ago, we went over a million views now, I'm not a big dog YouTuber yet, but we're getting there. I want to thank you for the success. So 10,000 subscribers, we're about a year and a half in. I love that progress. I want to thank you very much. All right, so today we are talking about a very unique security camera and unique in the features. It's got all sorts of cool stuff going on. Now, this is from a new company called Really. This camera is not released yet, coming out late July for a pre-order and then August to the rest of the public. Now, a little side note on this, and you should follow us on Instagram because I talk about a lot of this stuff in more detail. You get to know a little bit more about me. I talk about tech and all sorts of things, but I, I broached this subject to so check out the video on Instagram. But this camera was sent to me by this company to try. This is not a sponsored video. It's just sent to me to try out and give their honest feedback because they're trying to launch this camera. Now, some of our subscribers are very supportive. In fact, our last two videos, we got more subscribers than ever, but some of them have left us because... I'm having stuff sent to me and I'm trying it out for free. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of YouTubers out there do that. So I'm just trying stuff that's cool and unique and I think will be a good fit for our customers and our subscribers. I'm not selling out as somebody told me, it's ridiculous. But anyway, watch the video on Instagram that I talked about this subject, it's ridiculous. But anyway, this product was sent to me. I think it's very cool. I use the example of the Ring Video Doorbell, Shark Tank turned away the inventor of the ring video doorbell. That guy ended up inventing the ring video doorbell, revolutionized home security cameras, then sold it to Amazon for like $4 billion. Now who's laughing now? So when it comes to products like I'm talking today, I'm gonna give them a shot. Because guess what? When Silver Hammer Surveillance was new, I needed somebody to give me a shot. And I'm so glad they did, because here I am talking to you. So anyway, when it comes to cameras like this, I'm a security guy, I'm gonna try it. And a lot of our customers, one of the coolest features about this camera is the wildlife features, and it'll actually watch different species of birds. I know from our customers, that's very exciting. And so we've had cameras that'll zoom in on deer and, and everything in, on the people property, and you know, watch out for bears. Sometimes it's a security risk because they're in an area where there's bears. We've done cameras for all sorts of reasons, but this one, piqued my interest, not only because of the security features, because it does have great facial recognition, it's got package recognition, it's great color night vision, it's very well made, and then it also has animal detection and bird detection. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about this camera from Really. So let's get into the specs. All right, so this is the camera here, and we'll do an unboxing in a minute. Uh, by the way, I uh, took this camera to my friend Christine's house because I don't have birds in the loft here, the Silver Hammer loft. She was nice enough to help me unbox it, and she's been testing this with me. She gave me access to her app, so I've been testing it with her, just like I was at her house, 
but just so you know, she helped me out and you're, you're going to see her and all that good stuff. But anyway, so that's the camera and uh, it's 1080p, 156 uh, wide angle view, which is great. A lot of cameras are 110, 130, 156 is fantastic. Uh, identifies the animal species and can transform human voice into animal voice, which is crazy. Has full color night vision. You can go black and white night vision or full color. Motion detection, vehicle detection, package detection, and the animal detection that we're going to talk about. Device weighs only 0.5 pounds. Has a built-in battery with a max uh, battery life of five months is what they're saying. Now, the one that they sent us was a solar panel included. And so we haven't had to worry about the battery and it kept it at 100%, no problem. Supports cloud storage and micro SD card storage. Now they sent me an SD card, thank you, really. Um, and so I didn't have to worry about the cloud storage. And then it's IP65 waterproof, so pretty good weather rating. So let's unbox it and tell you a little bit more about it. So again, thank you to Christine for helping me with this and letting me use her home, her beautiful home. You can see this beautiful backdrop here. So thanks again. But this is what really sent me. They sent me a ground stand so you can mount this camera on the ground. It's, it's a nice little pole to get the camera up high. They gave me the solar panel, an SD card, a tripod bracket mount, the camera itself, and then a desk slash fence mount. Getting to the unboxing, here's the camera. Pretty straightforward. By the way, they have very nice packaging and I cannot say enough about how well made everything was. The camera, the, the mounts, everything was very well made and very high quality. All right, so we got the camera. You can see that uh, night vision strobe there. Shouldn't say strobe, it's just a, a color night vision light. It's basically a spotlight. You got the camera, you got some documentation, and then you've got one of the mounts inside. That's just a pretty straight up wall mount there. You've got the charging cable. Again, this is a battery camera, but they did send me the uh, solar panel and they're saying up to five months of battery life. And then there is the camera itself. Again, very well made. You've got your thread for the different mounts. You got your lens and you got your spotlight, but a pretty handy camera. And with the flexibility of the different mounts they sent, you can pretty much put this sucker anywhere. All right, so let's unbox some of these accessories. So first up, we've got the solar panel. Pretty straightforward, very similar to like a Eufy solar panel or Wasserstein or Ring. Now I will say in the world of solar panels, this one was better made than some of those that I just listed. That quality of that product there is pretty substantial as far as solar panels go. We had an experience with Deep Sentinel, for example. Their solar panels were so horrible, I had to stop my relationship with Deep Sentinel because their solar panels were just so flimsy, they'd blow in the wind and I just couldn't sell their product anymore. So when it comes to solar panels, this was important to me and it was very well made. There we've got a regular uh, wall mount, another type of wall mount that you can use. Very similar to, let's say, Arlo or some of the third party mounts you can buy for, let's say, Eufy. All right, this is just a straight up tripod mount. Again, very well made. And you just got your three tripod links. And then again, you've got the threads on the camera to, uh, to mount this. And so that, again, you could put this on a table or you could put it on the ground or you could put it on all sorts of different places. But again, very well made and a very substantial little mount there. So props to them for that. All right, then this is the one that we used. We used the desk and fence mount. It was very flexible. She had these railings you can see behind her. And we decided that it would just be great to just mount it right on the railing. And so that's what we did. And we'll show you some footage of that. But yeah, so this basically just has a clamp and has a very flexible arm. And again, a very well-made arm that's not going to flap in the breeze or fly around in the wind. It's very well-made and it holds it in place. And it's long enough to put it in very good angles for whatever you're watching, whether it's security or wildlife. And that clamp is very well-made as well and stood on her balcony railing very well. All right, then this is the ground stand. And so basically you could just put this in the ground and it gives your camera some height and so especially for the wildlife and the bird features this is a great little mount to make that happen so you just stick it in the ground and watch away all right then they give you some uh some stakes for that and that's that's where the the uh, ground mount goes and keeps it in the ground so those are some of the accessories okay now that we've unboxed let's talk about the actual setup now this product is not available to the public quite yet coming late july in august and then it'll be full blown ready to go so I use test flight in the Apple uh, app store to set this camera up and get the app. 
And then Christine was actually able to get it through the Google Play Store. She has an Android phone. So once we got to that point, the app was very straightforward and pretty polished and ready to go, but it's not available yet. But anyway, it will be in the app, Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. And then moving on to the setup of the camera, it's pretty straightforward. You sign up for an account with Really, and then you go ahead and go through the product, the usual steps that you would pretty much any other Wi-Fi camera where you connect it to your Wi-Fi network. You can actually scan the camera with your phone, which a lot of cameras are doing now with a QR code, and that connects the camera to your account. It's pretty simple to set up and pretty straightforward. And like I said, even though this app's not quite available yet, I found it to be pretty polished. So when it is released, I'm sure it'll be a great app. Okay, so once the app is set up, let's talk about the features and what you can do with this bad boy. Again, it's a 1080p camera, so it's not 2K or 4K, but I found the resolution to be just fine. And with that 156 degree field of view, the camera was perfectly fine. So when you're in live view, you can mute and unmute the audio. You can take a snapshot. You can take a still picture of whatever you see. You can take a video clip. You can turn the spotlight on and off. And it also has a siren, which I have not mentioned. So you can actually sound a siren on this thing and make it even more of a security camera, which is very popular in a lot of cameras nowadays. Go back and check out my video, controversial videos on camera systems versus alarm systems. So this camera can kind of be both. Let's go into the actual settings here real quick. You've got camera settings. You've got, you can manage your storage. You've got a photo album where you can download clips and you can do still pictures and videos. You can change the AI settings. You've got general settings and battery saving mode. But as far as the events go, you can do animals, you can do birds, you can do packages, you can do people, and you can do all motion. Now let's start with the security features because that's my bread and butter. That's my my roots, all right? So facial recognition. Now when I say facial recognition, this is true facial recognition. It's not like person recognition. This is more like the Nest camera where it'll actually send you pictures of people and you can name them. And then from then on, it knows this person by name. So when you get the alerts, it's truly facial recognition. I, I can't stress that enough. And for a new product and for a company that's relatively unheard of, they did a good job with this. Package detection, also very good. So you've got a package out there. It's gonna, you can almost use this like a video doorbell. And you do have the two-way calling on this. So you can talk to an intruder and scare people away just like a video doorbell. Now, as far as video doorbells, this doesn't have the actual button you push, but a great camera as far as the two-way audio and the package detection. So you can put this out by your front door or wherever you get packages and it's great. Animal detection. So you can, you know, all your normal pets, cats, dogs, all that good stuff. And then you also can move into bird detection. And that's where it gets crazy because this is different species of birds. It actually gives you a list of, I mean, I, the list of birds is endless. And what's cool for bird watchers is it's almost like you're collecting birds. You've got this unlock feature, whereas it recognizes one of those birds, you basically earn it like a reward. And if you know a bird watcher, you know how exciting that kind of thing is to them. So not only do you have the normal security features, but you can have a lot of fun with this thing, especially if you're a bird watcher. And again, I've had so many customers over the year. It might be a, a niche thing to you, but I'm telling you, it is a big request with security cameras. And there are a couple coming to the market now that are saying that they can do this bird thing, but man, really, just really, they did a good job. And the fact that you can kind of collect them really amazes me. And on Christine's, she had a bird feeder out there. Now we mostly concentrated on the, on the bird because I found the security features were working great. When I was there and she and I were there hanging out, the person detection was fantastic. The motion detection's fine. Or even when her bird feeder's moving, because that's another thing you can do is just general motion detection. It was great at all of that, but I really wanted to fine tune into those birds. And she's got a bird feeder out there. She was keeping it nice and full. And bam, sure enough, we got motion alerts every time there was a bird and bam, there it was identifying them, which is so cool, so cool. Now, we obviously couldn't even come close to filling up all the birds that really has on the list, but the few birds that she has out there that's coming to visit her every day, it got them every time, and that's really cool. So for you bird watchers out there, this might be a very exciting option for you. But again, for me, security. It's, it's got the fun features, but it's got the security features. It's also a very small camera, and I love the flexibility of how you can mount it. So whether it's just on a railing like we've got here, or you put it out in your yard, and the fact that it's battery, 
if you don't mind charging that battery, as long as your Wi-Fi reaches where you put it, you can put this sucker pretty much anywhere in your yard, and that's pretty cool. So keep that in mind. Now I will say on some of the motion event alerts, it doesn't save everything. It's not 24 seven recording. So I did find that some of those alerts were very short. So when you go back to watch the review, um, some of the clips were very short. So you, you could possibly miss somebody doing something sometimes. Sometimes they were great. Sometimes they were a little too short for my taste. Now I will also tell you as a guy that's almost tested every camera known to man, that's not just really, that's a lot of different options. So you have to go to something like Nest that's got the 24 seven recording to really eliminate that problem. But that would be my only complaint. So when it saw a bird, you know, it saw him playing around, but it doesn't really show the whole clip. Now also, they when they reached out to me and I've communicated with them back and forth, this is still under development and there are a lot of things they can do with firmware updates and they're listening to our feedback. That's why they sent it out to a person like me and some other influencers and YouTubers so they're just looking for that feedback. So I know, especially I can tell companies that have that, 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 that know what they're doing and that can figure this stuff out as they go with feedback. And that's one of the reasons I picked this camera because I can tell that they mean well. I'm not normally one that would test something that's not out to the public yet. I'm telling you that right now, but I've had so many requests on this type of product that I had to do it. And I'm very relieved. It reminds me back in the day of when I first started talking to Nest before Google bought them. Nest was a very reputable company in Virginia and you got to know them all and they just knew what they were doing and that thermostat exploded. This kind of reminds me of the same thing. Now I'm not saying it's going to blow up like the Ring Video doorbell did but uh, or Nest did but I will say they got a pretty cool product here and that niche for the birds is awesome but also just for general security I think this camera could be great. Now I will say smart home integration is one negative about this camera out of the box. It's going to be compatible with Amazon Alexa, but if you watch the channel, you know, that's my least favorite and it's not happening here. So a little disappointing, no Google home or Apple home, but on the flip side of that, two things. Number one, I'm a security guy. First and foremost, a lot of our customers, a lot of our subscribers don't care about the smart home. They're here for the security content. This camera is a great security camera. Also, I think of a lot of the, bird watchers and wildlife people aren't necessarily worried about the smart home. They just want this cool new camera that will help them out. So keep that in mind. I think really is a company that is a little more likely to try to get that Google home and Apple home integration in the future because companies like this aren't so biased and at war with everybody. So, you know, like Nest in the, in the get go, we're very friendly with Apple, very friendly with Google, very friendly with everybody. I think a company like this has high hopes to get that integration, but right now it is definitely a negative because we're only talking Amazon Alexa. Mm. So that's just my very general view on what the really is calling the light camera D1. And again, that's because of the spotlight and the color night vision. But once this product comes out, I might do a deeper dive into the settings once the firmware is finished and the app is completely finished because there's a lot of settings available in this thing now. I mean, you can do all sorts of things with the notifications, whether it's people, vehicles, packages, you know, just like your general cameras, you can, um, you know, control the spotlight. You can turn that color night vision or black and white night vision. There's a lot of different things you can do with the setting. You can decrease the resolution. If your internet can't handle it, or if you've got too many devices or whatever, you can drop that down if you have to. There's different, different things you can do with the battery saving mode. But the key thing is there's those AI settings, how you can really adjust those different AI settings. Like I said, it'll show you pictures of people and then you can name them. And it reminded me a lot of Nest in that way or even somewhat to HomeKit Secure Video where you can see anybody in your Apple photo library, but that automatically detects those people. This is different. This is sending you pictures of people and you can name them yourself. And that's really cool. And I found that it worked as well as Nest. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video on the really light camera D1. I will do more on this product once it's out to the public because I'm curious to see how it advances. But I gotta tell you, this is pretty polished as is. So good job, really. Way to be innovative and think outside the box. I give you a thumbs up for that. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel. Come back for much more. We talk HomeKit. We talk Google Home. We talk all sorts of tech. And again, I'm going to keep talking about products like this when it's something that piques my interest that I think is going to be cool that I don't think the world should miss out on. So hopefully you forgive me for that. Check me out on Instagram. See my little video that I did on this topic. But yeah, smash that like button. And until the next video, peace and love.